Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. You know it's your best friend, Joe Jaguar. So here is the 12 inch that, here's the 12 inch that I am keeping, the light bridge, and there's the Antares, the uh, other one that I'm gonna be selling. Now, I just cleaned it up. I don't know if you guys can see. There is, from the previous owner, you can just see how many holes are on there. Couple was for the, I think those two are the original uh, shoe to put the finder scope. And then there was a tail rad and then there was a, uh, the do packs system and the heater and all that. But uh, man, I don't know if I was just gonna buy some type of um, thing and cover that up. But anyway, what I have here is the module for the star sense. Now, if you wanna make a cheap uh, go-to system, what I did is I found a 114 millimeter, four and a half inch um, star sense with this on top of it. I took it out and my thinking is I'm going to put it on this guy here. Okay, there is a little problem that I found is that the, um, the angle uh, of the bottom does not sit like perfectly on it. So it's either the front is on and not the back or the, you know, or it could be the middle and the two tops are off. So I'm not exactly sure because it came off 114 millimeters. So the uh, circle is obviously smaller, but I'll find a way. What I could do is take out those four screws there, take out the base. And uh, what I'm thinking of doing is I don't want to, I could screw it on and then that's it. But I want to use it for my other scopes. So I was thinking of doing Velcro, and then that way I could take it off and on uh, whenever I want. Okay, so I took that out, and it might be a little easier now just to kind of figure where I want it. So again, I'm thinking of um, just putting Velcro and seeing if that's strong enough. Uh, maybe I could just try it, well, I guess I could try it like this in the middle. Or maybe just try in the middle and see what happens. I mean, uh, worst case scenario, I screw one down. I don't know. I'll, I guess I'll figure out something and then show you guys uh, what's the best way. Uh, but I was thinking I could use it for a reflecting telescope, one of my refractors, one of my non-go-to one. And I just, I'll have go-to uh, on the cheap. Just Velcro it out, put it on the other one. Uh, I, I can Velcro them all type of thing. Anyway... I will catch you guys after when I figure out what to do. Okay, so basically I figure I'll put it here and I'm just gonna put it in the middle part, not in the front or not in the back. And I didn't put it up here towards the upper uh, part because remember, the more weight you have up here, the more it's gonna be imbalanced. So I figure I'll just put it towards the bottom. Okay, here we go. I guess let's give it a try. Okay, so I wanted kind of... Hmm. It's not... Yeah. Oh. I guess I got to put those holes through as well. So, uh, to attach the other part on. So, I forgot to do that. I'll just drill a couple holes through the Velcro. And uh, then the other part will hold. I just hope it's strong enough when you have the weight. I guess worst case scenario, I could just screw it on and then it'll be really tight. It'll be like the original, it won't move. With Velcro, it has a little bit of play, especially, you know, I, I'm not sure. So it's gonna have to be trial and error to see how good it holds it. Because if it's moving, when I'm trying to do go-to, it might not work. So then I might just screw it down, at least maybe on the front or on the back, whichever, and uh, then it'll be more solid. So I'll have to play with it and see. Okay. 
Okay, let's give it a try. No, I don't like it. So you know what? That's why you try it and see if you like it or not. There's way too much play. Um, you know what I just thought of? Instead of me getting that, the if I, you know, because this curve is made for a four and a half inch reflecting telescope, maybe if I got the 130 millimeter or the 5.1 inch reflector would be a bigger curve and it would fit more, uh, slightly better. Maybe not perfect, but a little bit better. So I don't like the Velcro, so we're not gonna do that way. So we're gonna have to just screw it in. I just didn't want to uh, screw it in because um, there's already a dozen holes in there. Um, and I, I didn't show you guys, but I tried to, there's none that match the three that I need. I can match one, but that's it. So I'll have to drill another two holes into it. I guess it's not a big deal. Uh, but as far as the refractors, um, I gotta see maybe if it will fit a little bit better on those because the, the curve won't be as much. Maybe the Velcro might fit on those, but for now, we're gonna, it was a, a good try. The Velcro does not work on, uh, maybe if it was, the circle was an exact match, and it fit all the way around, perfect. That maybe could have worked, but because it's not the same kind of base, uh, the circle, then there's no point. Okay, so the front one, I just put a small screw and it's more towards the front and it's a little bit raised at the back because there's really no choice. But the screws are gonna be going, uh, I'm not sure if you can see them there. Uh, so it's gonna stick out a bit, but if I put them nice and snugly, uh, the bolt underneath, it'll keep it at that height. Okay, just remember, this is a plastic base. You don't wanna over tighten it too much. You know, you wanna tighten, that way it's rock solid, but because it's plastic, you don't want to break it, right? So uh, just do it finger tight, it slips in here. Now I think it might counterbalance a little bit. So I put it now more towards the top, just because I'm not sure if you guys can see that screw right here. So this screw right here, I wanted it to put closer to the bottom, but I didn't want it to interfere uh, with the screw or it, over here. So I figure I'll just put it up. But I think though, yes, it's gonna be a little bit, see the, the thing with these Dobsonians is every like one pound sometimes, let's say, or whatever you put up here, put five pounds down there. Now the good thing is I still have that Orion, um, magnet weight so that should be perfect it's a three pound i mean this is not one pound this is a, a few ounces or whatever but with the phone let's say it's half a pound i'm not sure something like that so i might need the three pounds might be perfect uh, so at this height it's probably fine uh, at about 45 degrees seems to be fine it starts about 55 or 60 degrees where it doesn't have enough but let me go get that weight Again, so just using the Orion uh, three pound counterweight, put it over here. And now let's try. Yep, there we go, perfect. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, it's not moving. It's not moving at all. So that's perfect then. Even with a two inch eyepiece should be perfect. So you know what guys, you always have to tinker sometimes with these type of stuff, but uh, now I can put my cell phone there and I have go-to. So, there we go. I'll put the two 12 inch by itself, so there's my go-to. I mean, my real go-to is my 12 inch LX90 GPS type of thing, but I have now a 12 inch uh, kind of go-to, uh, you know, push to go-to, uh, and it counterbalances. I don't like all these holes, I'll fix it after, but I thought I'd show you guys that. Um, that's it. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are on the forums and someone's asked a question for a video that I have, please share the video. And why not you 
why not me?